Good morning, Falcons. We are so glad to see you today. Welcome to WFMS TV studio where we are getting the news out to you. Today is Friday, October 4th, which makes it an even day. Morning supervision. This is for next week. Thank you to our teachers and staff for making sure that our hallways and entryway and all of our areas of the building are safe upon your arrival. Our Falcon 4 bus rider expectations are to stay seated on the bus the entire time. Keep your hands and feet to yourself. Keep your noise level down. Follow directions as given by the bus driver and or monitor. Look at that FMS baseball team hard at work. Thank you, Coach Trumper and Coach Law um, and the baseball players for putting in some hard work on Wednesday after school. They were cleaning up the weeds in the front lawn. Look at them go. We appreciate your service in keeping our school in tip-top shape. FMS Bowling is back. The Falcons are bowling at Kingpin Lanes on Sunday, October 13th from 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. This event is only for FMS students and families. $15 covers unlimited bowling and shoe rental. Snacks can be purchased for $2 each. No drinks. Come with your friends and have a great time. You'll note that this is a Sunday evening, and that's because on Monday, October 14th, we do not have school that day. Earbuds and headphones, please remember students, you may only use earbuds and headphones that have a connecting cord. Earbuds and headphones that connect via Bluetooth are never allowed here at school. Please do not bring them with you, and please do not ever have them on in the halls. If a teacher or staff member asks you to take your earbuds out or your headphones off, you need to do so immediately, okay? Earbuds and headphones, no matter how they connect, are for class use only. Lewis Park and Trails Full Moon Trail Run is going to take place on Friday, October 18th. Registration starts at 5.30 p.m. and the event begins at 7 p.m. There is a QR code to register or you can go to the secure registration site listed there at the bottom of the page. I'm sure if you Googled Lewis Park and Trails, you would see the link for registration there as well. This is the 12th annual fun, family friendly walk and run. Tutoring and homework help are here. After school help is available on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the library. Space is limited, so make sure that you get there and sign in before 2.40 p.m. That gives you plenty of time to get to your locker, get what you need, get all of your supplies, and get to the library signed in so that you are ready to go. Remember, when you go to tutoring and homework help, you need to have something to work on. A light snack is provided, and students who normally ride the bus to school or home from school can take the activity bus. Be sure to know your home address so that the staff can help make sure that you get on the right bus home. Shout out to teachers. Our teachers are amazing. Come to Mrs. Durr's room, room 108, during advisory to fill out a shout out sheet to show teachers some love. When you're done, turn them into the shout out basket in her room, and we will start displaying those first of next week. Open gym for seventh grade boys basketball is going to take place on Wednesday, October 9th from 5 to 7 p.m. For eighth grade boys, it will be Thursday, October 10th from 5 to 7 p.m. And 7th and 8th grade boys basketball for both will be Wednesday, October 16th from 5 to 7 p.m. The tryouts are going to be on Monday, October 21st from 2.30 to 5. And if needed, they will have a second round of tryouts on Thursday, October 24th from 2.30 to 4. Please mark your calendars, boys, for that so that if you are interested in basketball, you can attend those open gyms and tryouts. All right, students, let's take a look. When your Chromebook battery is completely drained or very close to being drained, your device may automatically shut down. When this happens, it likely will not restart even if you connect it to power. Many times this is gonna require a trip to Mrs. Giacchino's room, that's me, room 110, with a tech slip that indicates will not power on. That means that your device will need to be reset before it will work again. This is a totally preventable occurrence from happening. If you make sure that you are connected to power before your computer dies, you are unlikely to have this kind of an issue. If you need help with it, you may have to wait, but Mrs. Giacchino and or Mrs. Durr will get that computer reset and back to you 
as soon as we can. The best stability is availability. When you're not at school, we miss you. Remember, attendance does matter. Missing a day of school here and there may not seem like much, but absences add up. If you miss two days a month, that means you will miss one year of school by the time you get to graduation. If you miss four days a month, that means you will miss over two years of school by the time you get to graduation. That's a lot of academics to miss. All right, Sabre survey must be completed today. It's the last day for your Sabre survey. It only takes five to 10 minutes. All students will complete this survey. You need to go to the link that is on the FMS homepage. There is a button specifically designed for that. Your teacher has your new username and everyone uses the password happy. Sixth graders, web leader, homework help is here, math, science, literature, and more. Tutors can work with you during advisory on Mondays and Tuesdays. Have your teacher call room 108 to set up a tutor. Believe in, buy in, lock in, all in. Any student or staff who would like to purchase basketball apparel can see Mr. Borders for an order form. The due date is today. Money and forms are due back to Mr. Borders by today, which is October 4th. Fall Harvest Festival is taking place October 12th and 13th at Lincoln Memorial Garden. Saturday and Sunday, there is an admission fee, but children 10 and under are free. It looks like it's a great time. There's all sorts of things to do out at Lincoln Memorial Gardens. I hope you'll check it out. Halloween is coming soon on October 24th from 5 to 6, um, from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., sorry. We will have a um, Halloween sensory-friendly trick-or-treating uh, for friends of all available all abilities, sorry, at Time to Talk Speech Clinic, which is located at 3920 Pintill Drive here in Springfield. Fantastic Falcon Show Choir is taking place on Tuesday the 8th, Thursday the 10th, and you'll see the rest of the schedule there on your screen. See Mrs. Garcher Trina if you have a conflict or need more information. All right, this week in Falcon Activities, or actually I should say next week in Falcon Activities, we have our cross country city meet on Monday, along with girls basketball at Williamsville or versus Williamsville at home. On Tuesday, we have girls basketball at Jefferson. On Wednesday, no Falcon activities. Thursday, we have girls basketball at Blessed Sacrament. No activities on Friday. And then on Saturday, we've got a jam packed Saturday morning and afternoon. Uh, we have our cross country sectional meet. We have sixth grade girls basketball at Grant Middle School. They're playing Jefferson this week. Boys basketball, sixth grade, is at Ball Charter. They are also playing Jefferson this week. It's a great time to check out some of your classmates and uh, those different activities if you're not already participating. All right, students, let's make sure we keep our school safe. It's a place where everyone needs to be proud to work and learn. That means we want it to be a safe space. We don't want any bullying. We need to use social media responsibly. We need to avoid conflicts that involve physical altercations, first and foremost, but also be able to work out and come to consensus or agreement um, instead of resorting to violence. If you see something, say something. If you need help with something, please ask. What's cooking in the cafe? Today we've got a chicken horseshoe, egg and cheese snack pack, and baked fries. And then you can see the menu for Monday is a taco burger, Monte Cristo sandwich, and seasoned carrots. All right, upcoming important dates for the FMS community. Take a look there at that calendar. All right, we've got all kinds of things coming up here in the month of October. Today's welcoming ritual. If you had to live inside of a TV show for a whole week, which show would you like to be in? That's an interesting question. I'm not sure I want to be inside any TV show because it's all fake, right? No, I'm a big fan of documentaries. I would like to be on the Discovery Channel. All right, AccuWeather report for today and tomorrow. Today's high is 79. It looks like sunny and warm. Tomorrow looks like a carbon copy of uh, today, except it's going to be a high of 84. 
nice weekend to enjoy the weather, it seems like. Happy birthday today to one R in eighth grade. Happy birthday tomorrow to Isabella, eighth grade. Happy birthday tomorrow to Selena, eighth grade. Happy birthday to Zykin, eighth grade. Or I'm sorry, sixth grade. That's my fault. Yep, sixth grade there. And happy birthday on Sunday to Clark, sixth grade. And Oliver, sixth grade. Happy birthday to all of you from us here at WFMS. Now, as we prepare for a productive day, let us observe a moment of silence. Now let us all please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, while students are standing for the pledge, let's take a look at that dress code. Make sure your shorts are long enough. Make sure your shirts cover your, all your belly and your parts and your shoulders and all that jazz. Make sure you have an awesome attitude and all of your supplies, including a charged up Chromebook. And if you don't have it charged, let's make sure that you have your charger with you so that you can do that in class as needed. Franklin Middle School, let's have a great day. And remember, it's all about choices. Read, write, respond, and relate at Franklin Middle School. It's our focus.